for whatever reason, kids come to us with some significant gaps in their math. But more importantly, they come to us with some poor math habits. What we're using Khan for, basically, is it's a way of re-engaging them in the math. Leave that up there. Use that as your model if you need it. Go into con, system, elimination, 0.5. If you can do that one easily, if you finish that, move on to elimination, 1.0. These are primarily uh, sophomores. They've taken algebra before and, and did not pass. We started out with some relatively uh, easy problems, systems of elimination, this so is 0.5. Uh, there was a model on the board for them to sort of follow talk to each other if they need a little bit of help, ask me if they need a little bit of help. When they're in con, basically a problem is presented and they can choose to watch a video or more often what they do is choose to see hints. The hints are basically the steps, so it's not uncommon for a problem to be broken down into five or seven or eight steps with some brief explanations about what each step is. Yeah, so what I did was take a hint. So like, what it basically says is beginning by moving the white term in the second equation to the right side of the equation. And you can ask for a hint. You can watch a video. Um, you can ask a peer. So, you, so you've had three opportunities to try and help yourself. And then after that, you raise your hands. The teacher's working with the students that he or she needs to be working with at that time. And other kids, for the most part, are engaged in doing what they're doing. So it really changes the dynamic between the teacher and students in the classroom. And I can see where they're proficient and where they're not. The teacher has access to something called uh, coach mode and allows us to go in and see a variety of things. At a glance, I can see it for the whole class, you know, how many exercises they've completed, who's progressed and who hasn't. And there's a variety of other ways I can go in and get a quick assessment of where students are. If I want to pick a particular exercise, I can go in here and see this student has some difficulty, watched a video, took a number of hints. When I'm working with a student one-on-one, -on -one, I can go even deeper and see the specific problems they've tried. I can see the steps they took so I can get some sense of where they went wrong. <coughs> so write down the problem. Historically, it was really hard to get the kids engaged. They couldn't get the help right when they wanted it. There was no immediate feedback it was right or wrong. It was easy for them to sort of get lost and just sort of drift in class. Well, now they have to keep moving because they know we're keeping track of the problems we're finishing. And they want to see the progress bar move. They want to see themselves you know, become proficient in the exercises. I'll plug it in twice. Yeah, you plug it in there. I know. Okay, you got it. I don't know. Previously, we had a hard time getting the kids to do homework. Well, now with Khan, it's a little bit easier to get them to do that work. There's less wiggle room for them to sort of back out because they've got hints they can take or videos they can watch. And you're measuring the work they're doing. And they're doing many, many more problems this year than they did last year. And there's no substitute for practice. The good thing about it is that it tells us when we need to review it, we could go back and take hints again, or we could just keep on going. Their behavior, their habits were changing. We started to notice as kids were staying engaged. We'd look at screens of our coaching data and see kids repeatedly trying. Watch the video here. He's taking some hints. They're taking ownership and they're developing more of an attitude of, I'm going to figure this out. Move on to adding segments. I'll put one of those up shortly too, OK? But then what we started to notice too was a real difference in their test scores. The average score is up about 30 to 40 percentage points. And many, many more students in the advanced range. Multiplied by negative two. What is it about Khan that, that works? Part of it is the fact that it's simply, it's a computer, and there's something engaging about anything on computers. I think it's an important part of it that it's one-on-one. -on -one. The fact that they can get help right now on this problem at this step. So that immediacy, that individuality, is a big part of it. But I think something about the design of Khan in particular, you know, it's not multiple choice, so you can't guess your way through. The, the problems are randomly generated, so you can't copy from another student. You would have to do the work. I was doing the top one here, but okay. then I did the bottom one right there. It shows us that every single student, when given the chance, wants to learn. They want to be successful. We're seeing students just turn on, you know, left and right. We see more focus. We see more attentiveness. We see more engagement. We see the kids this year 
less apt to give up in the first couple seconds. And the basic skills are also better because they've been engaged, they've done the work. And that's the real magic.